Someplace where the ocean is clean and, and healthy. Hmm. Tell them we sure like to help them, but how can we do it? Hmm. There must be something we can do. Let's put them in a boat and paddle out to sea. They'd hate that. All those fish in a boat. How about Floppy's balloon? It just wouldn't work, Rubear. Why not? It's big. Fish need a lot of water to live in. If we put water in the balloon, we'll never get off the ground. Oh, I've got it. We'll ask the whales to hold the fish in their mouths and then swim out to open sea and they can let them go in clean water. What a brilliant idea! Dinner isn't ready. Why wake me up? I see. Rubear and his friends are gonna. Papa, you gotta go and see this. Hurry up, Mr. Koala. <laughs> <laughs> Container ship. We're sure to meet the front page with a story like this. Goodbye, fish. Bon voyage. Now that's what I call traveling first class. They certainly got lots of room in there. Give them a nice smooth ride, whale. I don't know. He's not here. And Laura's gone, too. Ruben! Ruben! Laura! Ruben! Where could they be, Papa? Well, you don't suppose they could have got left in the mouth of one of those whales, do you? Anywhere. If 
they're inside a whale. We'd better get them out pretty soon. We'll never catch up to those whales in this slow little boat. That's right. Let's go after them in that balloon of yours. Okay. I don't see the whales. Where could they be? Underwater, I guess. Hmm? Oh. What's the matter? Let me have a look. There they are! Why is the fish leaving us here? water up through that hole. Does that mean we'll be able to get out that way? Yes, we'll be safe. All we have to do is wait here till the whale spouts water. Thanks a lot, everybody. Oh, the only trouble is we'll get spouted out in the middle of the ocean. many whales and we don't know which one they're in. Who oh. <laughs> there? Laura! We'll get him now! <laughs>
work anyway. Uh, you kangaroos are always talking big. She sings like a dog, doesn't she? <laughs> Shatter, you guys, and keep your eye on the ball. Well, not bad for a little girl penguin. I got it! Oh. 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 That's it, the game's over, we won! I say, you missed the ball like a deer right over there! Hey, fellas, that's not the ball. It must be an egg. What? Huh? What a pain for an egg to get mixed up in a ball game. You stop that, Nick. How can you act that way? The egg is a living being, you know. And somewhere the poison has a mother. You're right, Laura. I'm sorry. If that's an egg, where did our ball go? Huh? I'm sure it fell right around here somewhere. We'll never find it in all this long grass. I guess we'd better leave that egg where it was. Oh, no, on a baseball field, somebody's sure to step on it and smash it. Well, what are we going to do with it? Don't worry, I'll give it tender loving care. I'll bet some poor worried mother is looking everywhere for her egg right now. Oh, no, not on the baseball diamond. Let me have the egg, Laura. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm going to take good care of it and be its mother. You can't be its mother. I keep it warm and safe until it hatches. And in a way, I really will be its mother, won't I? I don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. I love it anyway. little girl trying to hatch a strange egg. It just isn't natural. Well, at least, Papa, it shows that Laura has a tender heart, and someday she'll be a wonderful mother. No, I could sneak in there and steal that egg. Don't even consider it, Rubert. Laura would never forgive you if you did a heartless thing like that. She loved that egg. <laughs> hey, Rubert, what kind of egg do you think that was you found the other day? It could be almost anything. I wonder... Could be the egg of a giant lizard. A, a giant, giant lizard? lizard? Oh, Lou, not that. The baseball diamond's right beside the beach. It could be the egg of some horrible sea monster. Sure, that's it. Or maybe it came from outer space. An extraterrestrial. They found an egg on the beach? I think I know what that is. I'm making it especially for you, little egg. You'll see. You can go everywhere I go. Whee! And when you hatch, I'll tell you I'm your mother, and we'll have a happy life together, no matter what you look like. Where are you, Laura? Right here. Oh, Laura, where did you get that pretty new dress? I made it myself, Mama, to carry my egg in. Ma, oh, you are a sweet little girl, Laura. I made slippers to match, and a purse, too. Wonderful. But staying in your room all day isn't good for your health, you know, dear. We should go outside and play with the other children for a while. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
and take a nice hot bath, Laura, so you won't catch cold. Okay. But I can't take a hot bath. It wouldn't be good for my head. Why am I shivering? Laura, I hope it doesn't mean... Yes, you've got a fever, dear. A fever? Oh, no. There's no need to worry. Her fever will soon go down and she'll be as bright as rain. Oh, good. That's wonderful, Doctor. I am so worried. Why has she got an egg in bed with her? It's the egg of a golden bird and I'm going to hatch it. Then I'll look after it and it's brother. A golden bird's egg? It's just an egg she found and she insists on hatching it herself. Oh, but she has a fever. Oh, yes. I'm sure the doctor's right, Laura. Until you get better, why not give the egg to me? I'll guard it carefully and keep it nice and warm. The temperature is too high for the egg right now. very soon now. There, Laura. Your temperature's back to normal. So here's your egg. I've kept it nice and warm for you, just as I promised. Thank you, Mommy. Hey, there. When are you going to come out of your shell? Huh? Something moved inside there. Huh? Oh, it's the baby turtle. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm surprised it hatched. Hey, Papa, come and look at what Laura's got. I don't mind that it's a baby turtle instead of a golden bird. Isn't he a cute little fellow? Look at that. So it turned out to be a baby turtle. Oh, Mommy, Papa, can I keep my baby turtle and watch him grow up? Please, can I? Huh? But Laura... You'll have to put him in the ocean, Laura. Turtles have to live in the sea. He'll die if you keep him here. If you want to make him happy, you'll let him go. Oh, I want to be a mother to my turtle. Oh, I don't want to put him in the sea. their eggs, but already they know that they should head straight for the sea. It's a kind of instinct that they're born with. They'll live out their whole lives without ever knowing their parents. If they saw them, they wouldn't know them. That's very sad. I feel sorry for them not knowing their parents. Ruby! Oh. Mm -hmm. It's Mommy and Papa. Laura oh, looks so sad. Hey, Laura, I hope you're feeling better. Because you really were its mother. 